Welcome to Sealing God's People with your host, Dennis Beard. Have you been hurt in church? Somebody done you wrong. Has there been an inequality and you've been the blunt of it? It wasn't uh, something done for you that should have been done or you felt like that you were judged mis- uh, uh, mistakenly, that it was totally someone else's fault and you took the blame for it. We find this is prevalent in uh, the way that Satan attacks the church. We take heed lest a promise slip any of us that we should seem short of entering into his rest. Now there's a rest to the people of God and we have the way, the truth of life given to us by the Lord himself. Uh, Whenever he was going to the slaughter, he opened not his mouth as the lamb was silent before uh, the ones that were going to kill him. We find that in the book of Isaiah. Why did he do that? Because he gave way to judgment. We overcome evil with good. We do good for them that despitefully use us. But what about when you've done wrong and you've been done wrong? What happens then? Well, if you have ought against your brother, then you alone go to him, leave your gift at the altar, and try to regain your brother. If he does not receive you, then take unto you two or three more witnesses. Let every word be established. And then hopefully he will then receive you and then we're back to harmony and at peace in the church. But then after that, after the second and third admonition, reject letting be unto you as a heretic, not unto God, but to you. And that is because God's called us to peace. Now take heed lest a root of bitterness enter into any of you and uh, at that point many be defiled why would many be defiled because where there is strife there's a talebearer when where the talebearer ceases then strife ceases when we give it all the judgment to god now we'll look at each other and maybe go to the pastor and say i was done wrong and then there's a meeting and then people get hurt Instead of just saying, uh, there, even when we're defrauded, Paul said, do you go before judges and that before the unbelievers? Know you not that, that you're going to judge angels? You don't know that? Let him that's least esteem among you be your judge. Or rather, let yourself be defrauded. Because God is the avenger, he will repay. Judgment is his, saith the Lord. Now, if a man judge, let him judge righteous judgment. That's in the Holy Ghost. But when we talk about the rendering evil for evil, then we have uh, exactly what the devil wants. The easiest thing is to do what God said do. Render unto him vengeance. Let him repay. What a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And where the tale bearer ceases, and strife will cease. All we do there is let God judge it. And when we do that, then we know, be careful on that and de- defraud not that your brethren, for God is the avenger of all such. God will avenge it, not us. When we do that, then we understand there's going to be in our own house, in churches, in the local body, there'll be those that sow seeds of dissension, that sows discord among the brethren, and these things God hates. What do we and how do we overcome it? We let God judge. Lay all of that care upon him because he cares for us. Let God have it. And that way, there's no way that you feed that root of bitterness where then many will be defiled. That's easier said than done sometimes when we are greatly offended or hurt by another believer. Many have left the church in a local body simply because that they were done wrong. And some have been done wrong. There's no doubt about it. But whatsoever there a man sows, that shall he also reap. So we give vengeance unto God. Let him repay. God said he would. We find in the word of God that uh, Jesus, showing us the way, the truth, and the life, told us that we are to forgive them. Forgiveness is the key that love 
and forgive you one another for Christ's sake, even as I have forgiven you. And we're to have the love of God, bearing one another's burdens, and so fulfilling the law of Christ. If we do that, then we live a peaceable and quiet life. If we don't, then there's strife, contention. And of course, that will be discord among the brethren. One of the biggest things we need to do is turn it over to God. Cast our care upon him because he cares for us. When we do that, then we're doing the will of God. Otherwise, we find we're fighting a battle that we were never supposed to fight. God is for us, and if God be for us, who can be against us? Nothing can separate us from the love of God. How be it? We can fail of the grace of God simply because we want to stand for our cause and what we think is right, and uh, rather than giving heed there to the word of God, giving judgment unto him and vengeance is God, and he will repay. That is for sure. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you want friends, show yourself friendly. How you deal it to others is how God's going to deal it unto you. If you judge your own case, judge not before the time. For he that judges the law is not a doer of the law. The same judgment that you meet will be measured to you again. If you then become angry, and go after your brethren or sisters and the body of Christ, then that, that uh, judgment will be on you. When Paul stated that, he said that same judgment that you meted out will be the same judgment that will be rendered unto you. So take heed how you judge. There, take heed how you hear. The same measure you meet with all be measured to you again. And that have. He will be given, he'll have the more. But he that hath not shall be taken away even that which he has. Everything in the word of God is law of cause and effect. Whatsoever man sows, that shall he reap. We want mercy, we must show mercy. Above all, we must show the love of God, forgiving one another for Christ's sake. Then and only then will the body of Christ dwell in peace and in love, and we'll see that the Lord God uh, will fitly frame it together and compact it according to his will and purpose, according to the measure of faith given to each part, and will reveal Jesus to the world, the gospel being preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end will come. Well, if you've been hurt, give it over to God. Well, we'd love to hear from you. If we uh, there has spoken anything, the Holy Ghost bore witness with your spirit, we'd love to hear from you. like to work together with you. You can email me at sealinggodspeople at dennisbeard.org. Now we pray for each one of us that we all may be presented blameless at the coming of the Lord with God perfecting that which is lacking in each one of us. Until the next time, this is Brother Dennis Beard saying, Behold, the real Jesus. Yes, we are at the end of days. The last of the last days are upon us. In Isaiah 28, the Lord talks about a great work that he's going to do, and it's a strange work, bringing to pass his act, a strange act. We've all read it. But he said uh, that judgment's going to be laid to the line, righteous, righteousness to the plummet. And God's doing it now, but it will surprise the hypocrite. We in the body of Christ that know the truth, the real Jesus, are to bring this everlasting gospel to all the world, for witness to all the nations. Please join me with your prayerful support and your financial donations. And more than ever, let's come together. I'd like to meet you. And you can also take an active role in becoming one with us and proclaiming this last day truth and the sealing of God's people by becoming a part of us, partnering with us, and purchasing our ebooks, which will help promote the gospel around the world. And there are seven books that are available for your edification. They are listed at dennisbeard.org. That book that I have authored, the first one being The Eras of the Trinity, going into detail. Why? The Trinity Doctrine is an era. The second book, Behold the Real Jesus. The third book here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The fourth book, The Manifested Sons of God, the glory to be revealed in the church. The fifth book, Sold Out to Follow Jesus. 
the sixth book, The Great Deception, The Mark of the Beast, Why Many Will Be Deceived, and the seventh book, Christ, The Revelation of the Son of God. You will be helping us greatly. And for your edification, by purchasing the e-books will help us promote this gospel to all the world. Also, you'll find a Jesus-only training course there, consisting of four training manuals. There are also an e-download. There are four training manuals. Those questions at the end of each chapter with a key given to the instructor or the pastor or whoever is giving that study course in their church or class there. And that first manual is called Behold the Real Jesus. Second manual, the heirs of the Trinity. Third manual, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And the fourth, Christ, the revelation of the Son of God. Please don't procrastinate. God is doing it now. It's very important and imperative that we do not allow this new wine, this new thing that God is doing, not revival, but a new thing, to let it perish on the ground because of our disobedience and lack of not taking it and receiving the word of God. And the oil then languishes. Let's don't let the new wine fail in us. Let's receive it, believe it, and carry it on to the work of the ministry, this gospel being preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then the end will come. Please contact me, plus one, 903-746-4885. Leave a message, I'll get right back to you. Let's work together. You can also email me, sealinggodspeople at dennisbeard.org. I will get your message, your email, and get back to you. You can also write to me, Dennis Beard, Post Office Box 2906, Longview, Texas, zip code 75606. Contact us on our websites, DennisBeard.org, SealingGodsPeople.org, SealingGodsPeople.com. Also, join us on our website, JCIC.tv, where we have instructional videos for your edification and of course download our free app there for our podcast sealing god's people i know you'll be blessed join with me in your prayer support and join me with your financial support it is greatly needed as ministers and believers all over the world are crying out for this new line we look to hear from you there for this last day work of the ministry. Until the next time, this is Brother Dennis Beard saying, Behold the real Jesus.